Hello everyone. Today we got an intriguing math problem that's absolutely perfect for beginners. Here is the problem. Find the maximum value of the square root 2x minus 442 plus square root of 521 minus x. Before we dive into the solution, let me offer you a hint. Consider the concept of expanding a plus b square, which leads to a square plus 2ab plus b square. This is a crucial clue to cracking today's puzzle. Now, I encourage you to take your time, stare at it, and ponder this expression. Let it store in your mind, and if necessary, don't hesitate to get the help of some technology to solve this puzzle. When you're ready, we'll explore the solution together. Let's begin. Let's recall that expansion we mentioned earlier. A plus B square equal A square plus 2AB plus B square. It is a fundamental algebraic concept that will play a key role in solving our problem. Now, when we square the expression square 2 square x minus 221 plus square root of 521 minus x, we get 2 times x minus 221 plus 2 times square root 2 times square root of x minus 221 times square root of 521 minus x plus 521 minus x. Similarly, squaring the expression square 2 square root 521 minus x minus square root of x minus 221 leads us to 2 times 521 minus x minus 2 times square root 2 times square root of x minus 221 times square root of 521 minus x plus x minus 221. And now, label these two equations as equation 1 and equation 2. By summing up these two equations, we arrive at an interesting expression. What's essential to note is that there are no additional terms in x in this sum. In fact, the sum simply equals to 900. Remember, the square of any real number is always at least 0. With this in mind, we deduce that the square of square 2 square x minus 221 plus square root of 521 minus x cannot exist 900. This, in turn, means that the expression square of 2x minus 442 plus square root of 521 minus x is not more than 30. But we can't definitely claim that 30 is the maximum. To do that, we must consider that the equality holds if and only if square root 2 square root of x minus 2 to 1 is equal to square root of 5 to 1 minus x. And we see that this is possible, and upon solving, we find that x equals 4 to 1. So by substituting x equals 4 to 1 into our expression, it is easy to verify that the answer is indeed 30. And there you have it, everyone. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.